allocated at Moscow Geek Picnic, the largest scientific and popular festival in Eastern Europe devoted to modern technology, science and creativity. Today is the first day of International Conference of Cyborgs. Scientists, people with bionic prostheses and modified body parts enthusiasts discuss the limits of human capabilities as well as practical, ethical and philosophical aspects of cyborgization. So this is an antenna implant that allows me to extend my perception of color beyond sight. So it includes infrareds, ultraviolets and also internet connections so I can receive colors from other parts of the world or from satellites. So I can sense colors that are in space basically. Oh, that's fantastic. What was uh, it? I was colorblind, but that's, uh, I wanted to sense color, but uh, seeing black and white was not a problem for me. I, I didn't want to change my sight. I wanted to have an independent sense of color. So I created this with a friend in university and then I tried to find someone that would drill the head so that I would have it inside. So it's, it's not medical, it's, uh, it wasn't accepted by the bioethical committee, so it's an art project that goes, uh, well, that goes into my body. The antenna has changed because it keeps evolving, so at the beginning it was just visual colors, now it's infrared, ultraviolet, now there's also internet connections, so it keeps extending my sense of color, so I feel that the older I get, the better my senses will be. So it gives you a different perspective on life. So, Do you consider yourself uh, a cyborg uh, or a human or less cyborg, more human? What's the definition? Humans are cyborgs, so okay. there's no difference. Cyborgs is the word cybernetic organism, so humans that are cybernetics or a union between cybernetics and organisms are all humans. So there's, I'm a human and I'm a cyborg. Do you consider yourself a transhumanist? Uh, what's your attitude to that? Um, I consider myself a cyborg, nothing else. Uh, transhumanism is very big and there's many different definitions of, of transhumanism and there's many different opinions and philosophies within transhumanism. So I, to me it's much better just to, to feel that I'm uh, technology. So I feel that I am technology and that already defines enough. Uh, I don't feel I'm part of any bigger movement. Maybe cyborgism is an art movement that I feel more closely related to, so the art of creating new senses and then expressing yourself artistically through new senses and that's what I feel more related to. Mm -hmm.